In the ditches throughout the salt marshes of the Upper West River in Guilford, we periodically notice a roiling of the waters. This is a sign that there is a crowded school of mature bunkers or pogies gathering. At maturity, bunkers are 12 to 15 inches in length. Here we see some flopping out of the water. Just off the seawall at the Guilford Land Trust Homestead Park, we see many crowded together. The bunkers, also known as Atlantic Menhaden, have most likely gathered upriver to escape the vicious Long Island Sound predators, the bluefish and stripers. Likely the hungry blues and stripers are sitting at the river mouth preventing their food from escaping. A little closer in, we can see how crowded they are, hardly any room to maneuver. Bunkers normally stay in tight schools, but if they were out in the sound, they would all be feeding rather than just milling about here in the river. The brownish color to the water is quite normal. Since it is a tidal river, the riverbed is constantly washed up and down river. The turbidity is an indication of how ecologically active the river is as a major starting point in the food chain. Periodically you can see flashes of their silver sides, a good indicator that they are indeed bunkers. The characteristic black dot on their sides also identifies them as bunkers. If you look closely, sometimes you see marks of injuries from their encounters with the big guys out in the sound. If the bunkers remain high up the river long enough, they face two dangers. The outgoing tide flushes some down to become good protein to bulk up the predators. They also attract flying predators. Osprey and bald eagle have their pick of the school. Parents join the prey, but they probably have to stick to slightly smaller bunkers. Some get so crowded they can't get enough oxygen, or the water becomes too fresh and they end up on the banks. Not to worry, the gulls clean up a lot of the fresh carcasses. Then both the blue crabs and fiddler crabs have at the remains. Bunkers are doing quite well in Long Island Sound, so often there are so many that it is up to the lower members of the food chain, bacteria, to do their job and we humans are greeted with a fresh, natural fragrance, showing us just how close is the ever-working food chain. It is no accident that the name Menhaden is derived from a combination of Algonquin and Narragansett words, meaning eat fertilizers. It is thought that the pilgrims were advised to plant Menhaden with their crops. So don't worry when you see a large bunker fish kill in the river. It is part of the natural cycle and in fact it is an indication that the sound is in good shape for that food chain from bunkers, blues, and stripers. <laughs>